Greetings programs, I'm David T, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix, and would you like to have a quick and efficient way to patch all of your Microsoft SQL servers? Well, with ERA 2.0, you can do that, so let's jump right in and see how it works. Microsoft SQL Server patches are managed using the software profiles in Nutanix ERA. Once you have downloaded the patch you want to apply, head to the Software Profiles section in ERA, find the profile you want to update, enter the detail view for that software profile, and click Create. You will then provide the patch file on your desktop or a file share. I am updating my SQL Server 2017 software profile with Cumulative Update 22 from Microsoft. Once you provide a name for the software profile, you can give it a description, then click Create. As the warning shows, you need to keep this page open while the patch is uploading to the software profile. As that software profile updates in the background, I created the new patch set for SQL 2019 earlier. Once the software profile is created, you will need to publish it. To do that, you will go into the details page, click on the version that you want to publish, and choose update. You will check the checkbox acknowledging that you want to publish this update. Once the update is publishes, all servers that have been deployed from the software profile will be able to be updated with this new software profile. The original profile will still be active unless you delete it, so if you need to deploy a previous version for testing, you can. Now if we head over to the Database Servers VM menu, we can choose a SQL Server 2019. We can see that it shows that it has an update available. You can then choose Update. If this profile has more than one patch, you can choose which one you want to patch it with. You can choose to patch the server now, or schedule it for later if you have an outage or change window to fit into. Enter the database name and click Update when you are ready to start the patch process. If you head over to the Operations page, you can see what the patch process is. So how would this look if this was a SQL Availability Group cluster? I have a SQL 2017 AG cluster, and since I uploaded that patch earlier and published it, let's see what that process looks like. If we go back to the Database VMs menu, we can click on the cluster, and like the single instance VM, you can see that it has an update available. This page also shows you the cluster layout. This cluster has two synchronous replicas on one Nutanix cluster and an asynchronous replica on an off-site Nutanix cluster. We're going to go ahead and click Update. We have the same options, which are both patched now or later. You will type the cluster name to start the process. As you can see, the update is in process. On the Operations screen, we can see what the process is. Arrow will keep the database available and online during the update. On the Database VM's overview page for the cluster, we can watch the patch progress. We will see each server VM go offline and the status it is at the time, such as patching, queued for patching, or patching complete. The patch process started with the off-site asynchronous server VM. Patching is now complete on that server and it will now move to the synchronous replicas. As you can see during the process, it walks through each node and keeps the database online during patching. Error turned off automatic failover and is managing the failover of the cluster. The process is complete now, and as you can see, it took my three node cluster 20 minutes to patch without any interaction from me. With ERA managing your SQL patching process, you can automate tasks that used to be manual and control when those patches are applied. This can help you keep your database installation secure and maintain consistent versions. Thank you for watching.